What's up everyone? So today we're going to be talking about spray paint and in this particular video we're going to be distinguishing the differences between Montana Gold and Montana Black. So when I first started off I was like alright I see this section over here in the rack and it's full of black cans but they all have different colors which is confusing. And over here in this side I see the gold cans and they have different colors on top which leads to more confusion. And then I went online and I researched what is the difference between the two of these? Why can't anybody explain? I couldn't find the answer so I decided to make a video right here. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Roly. I'm an artist from Miami, Florida, and I do a little bit of art tutorials. I also do a little bit of speed painting and time-lapse art that you may find in this channel. And I post an art blog where I pretty much discuss the issues that I go through to hopefully see if someone can relate to it on the other side of this lens. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll be uploading once or twice a week, and it's all gonna be art content. So let's dive right into the video. And today, we're gonna be talking about a few tips and just breaking down a few fundamental differences about the Montana Gold and the Montana Black. If you're just starting off and you just wanted the basic answer of what is the difference between the Montana Gold and the Montana Black, I'm gonna run you down a little list of the differences, but the main difference you need to know that truly affects you is the dollar amount and the difference in pressures. Why do you even need the differences in pressure? Well, it all comes down to can control. So it all depends on the user and the cap that you're using on the can when you're using the can itself and how you use the two together. So basically to break it down, this is a low pressure can. It's Montana Gold. You can get them in about 215 colors. There's, they offer 215 different colors of the Montana Gold brand, which is the low pressure. This is Montana Black. They offer about 187 colors, which depending on the cap, you may be able to get a broader fill or a narrower fill depending on the cap that you're using. So a lot of things come into play, but in a nutshell, what you need to know is that one is the low pressure, the other is the high pressure, and that one costs a few dollars extra or maybe a dollar extra than the other one does. Roughly, these cans will rough run you less than ten dollars i purchased them at about six to seven bucks but they were on sale so i can guarantee you that they will be a little bit more expensive today go do your search online go to the art store and see what they're offering it at but i know that for sure i paid about six to seven bucks i bought them on sale and i bought them in bulk and i just dove right in so i started testing both cans each can can get you about 20 to 30 square feet depending on what you're using um, you can use a high or you can use the low pressure can. But in Montana Black, what I found in my personal experience is that you can burn right through that can pretty quickly because it is a high pressure can. So I'm gonna put a video right up here in this corner and it's gonna be my Paradise Beach Mural. And in that beach mural, if you click on it, it's a time-lapse painting and you will see that I'm using both brands. I'm using Montana Black and Montana Gold. And I'm also using acrylic base paint from a hardware store. I also have another video reviewing the acrylic base paint from a hardware store versus buying it at the art store and the price differences and all that stuff. So if you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend you go check it out. So let's go down a quick recap. The Montana Gold is a low pressure can. You get acrylic base paint from it and it offers about 215 colors, which is a great variety, but it's a dollar extra. Low pressure can, so you get more can control. The Montana Black is a high pressure can. You get a bigger fill, a better fill, but you only have 187 colors, but it's a dollar cheaper, okay? So that's the main difference. Those are the main differences between these two cans. Secondary to that, the next tip that I can give you is how to clean the caps that you're using with your Montana cans. So jumping right in, I get these cans from across the street at a place called Navarro. You guys probably don't have a Navarro because you probably don't live in Southwest Miami-Dade. So you can get any Folgers jar. Okay, that's what this used to be. This used to be a Folgers jar. I ripped off the label. Obviously I drank the coffee, you know what I'm saying? Open the can up, rinse it out from the inside out, make it nice and clean, throw my caps in there and throw some acetone in there. Now, there's a big debate. You have the gurus, you have the professionals. No, 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 I use paint thinner. No, no, no. I use acetone. Well, I'm going to tell you guys, go out there and figure out what works out for you and don't let anybody tell you differently. I personally use acetone because I've personally used paint thinner. I've personally used lacquer thinner. I've personally used a little bit of gasoline even. The best thing that works for me is the acetone. I leave it overnight. I go in there and I wipe it off with a microfiber towel, not a paper towel, a microfiber towel to make sure that I get all that gunk off 
I put the cap right back on the can and I'm right back to work. No problems. So you guys make the decision. You guys do your own research. I'm only here to help you out and kind of give you some ideas of the same hurdles that I've had to overcome and just put them in video form right back out through the other side of that lens and hoping that someone can benefit from it. So that brings me to my third and most important tip that is you know the difference basic fundamentals between the montana gold and the montana black you know more or less an idea of how to clean your caps and what to put them in now we're going to talk about your lungs okay i don't care if you're just starting off i don't care if you're experienced you know super advanced if you're a guru if you're like the world's greatest street artist listen your lungs are no different than mine so what I recommend to everybody who's starting off with spray cans is to get out there and get yourself a respirator before you get your can. Okay. Why? Because you only get a set of two lungs. All right. So you need to protect them at all costs. All right. It's extremely important that you protect those lungs because you're breathing in those chemicals. Not only does it make your brain all fuzzy, but it jacks up your lungs, man. That stuff doesn't come out of your lungs. So I bought this respirator for, I can't remember if it was like, 19 bucks to 30 bucks with the filters but they come with these filters and the general consensus is what you want to look out for is if you can smell the paint if you breathe in with the mask on and you can smell the paint it's time to change the filters i definitely recommend that you pick up um, this respirator it could be any respirator any brand it doesn't matter as long as those particles don't enter your lungs so i'm going to put a few links down in the video description below. If there's any specific content that you want to see or if there's any specific video that you'd like to see me record, um, drop them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to look into it. Until then, I'll see you in a few days in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.